Hey everybody, it's Jake Rams. We're here at the Volo Museum Auto Sales. We're gonna do a showroom walkthrough today and uh, we're gonna call it Mopar Madness. We're gonna check out all the Mopars, which would be uh, Plymouth Chrysler Dodge products. I'm standing next to one of my favorites right now. It's a 69 Dodge Dart GTS. I love the color blue, and this is a 383. This is the big engine in a little car. This is a very special car, uh, completely restored, bucket seats, console. Love the red line tires, red in the emblems. I love everything about that little car right there. I think one of the fastest cars I ever owned was uh, a Dart GT, actually at a 340 and a four speed. Man, that thing was fun. So this right here is a Mopar, a 57 Chrysler 300. It's a letter car, it's a 300C. That's their performance uh, car. It has a Hemi under the hood with dual quad carburetors. So boy, we got the Dodge, the Chrysler, and now we're gonna get a Plymouth. We'll get all three right off the bat. 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, this is a 383 with a four speed, uh, very carefully restored to all original condition, power steering, uh, just a nice, nice car. Got a pile of documentation with that one. A couple more Mopars. I'm curious how many Mopars we have. I didn't actually go and count, so uh, we're just winging it. I bought this because of the colors, black with the white it was just, uh, I remember I seen the pictures for the first time, I was like, oh, I gotta have it. It's a 70 Dodge Challenger RT. Uh, it has a 440 under the hood and there's a pistol grip four speed shifter between the seats, a 410 Dana sure grip rear end. They've added four wheel disc brakes. And then, uh, I still say it's probably the best value. People are really overlooking this car. 70 Plymouth Duster 340. This is a concourse restoration uh, down to the, the hose clamps and the reproduction battery, all the finishes. It's all numbers matching. It's heavily documented with the original window sticker, build sheet. Um, underneath the car is done. We have a mirror on the floor so you can kind of get a peek of the underside. It's 64,998. I think it's a bargain. If you spend a hundred grand, I don't think you could duplicate this car. Reproduction tires. And it's just a nice car to have. A red 340 duster. It's a cool piece. And we got quite a few Mopars here. Here's another 57 Chrysler, New Yorker, stunning convertible. Beautiful colors, that is so 1950s. Then we've got a 70 uh, Dodge Challenger TA. This is a survivor. The exterior was repainted one time. All the jams are original interior, the dash, the vinyl top, all that's original. It's uh, numbers match throughout. So it's the 346 pack with a four speed. The four speed makes this very desirable. These were high performance cars. One of the few factory cars that I know of where the uh, exhaust comes right out the side of the car. They actually put bigger tires in back to raise the car up for exhaust clearance. And then the 1963 Max Wedge. Doesn't look like much from the outside, um, but this is a pretty much a factory born race car. As the Max Wedge dual quad motor, this car is from California, has a great story. It's a low mileage. It's actually a survivor that was uh, carefully restored, but that's the original interior, rubber floor mat, push button automatic transmission. This is one of 31 cars made, a 426, 415 horsepower. This one comes from the factory with dumps on the exhaust. Uh, I don't know of any other car, production car, that came with dumps right out of the factory. Um, boy, we got the Mopars. Got a gorgeous, I love this car. I love the stance, I love the poverty wheels. 
1969 Dodge Charger RT. That stands for Road and Track. That's the performance package. SE, special edition. So the front seats are actually leather. Uh, 440, automatic, air condition, power disc brakes, power steering. Of course, the leather seats, rally gauges. That's a great car. Dodge Charger. You know, we get the Camaros and the Mustangs and all sorts of cars, but we don't get that many chargers. Um, another Mopar, 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner, and I could tell it's a 68 right away by looking at the round marker lights. That's the only year that they had that. We service each one of our cars. We inspect and service them. This one we had to end up uh, completely replacing the engine. We found the engine had some cracks on it and the block, so we had to start from scratch. Uh, but it's all taken care of, professionally built motor, got a four speed in there. Yeah, each car gets inspected. 63 Dodge Coronet 330, this has a 426 Hemi. This is not a factory born uh, like this. It was a California rust-free car that was completely restored. They put a Hemi in there and uh, made this thing show quality. Just a nice cruiser. And we got one more Mopar in here. We had more in here than I thought. I thought I'd be stretching it trying to find Mopars. 67 GTX, it has the numbers match uh, 440 engine, but it's actually been bored and stroked to a 505 cubic inch making 500 horsepower. I love the tire and wheel combination and I love that it's a dark blue interior. I love color interiors. Uh, it has the tachometer on the console. Now you can get all the specs, see all the pictures inside and out if you go to volocars.com on every car you're seeing, even the ones in the background. We always have about 200 cars listed for sale. Let's go to showroom two, see how many more Mopars we find. We have one more 57 Chrysler New Yorker. We actually brought all three of these convertibles that you've just seen uh, uh, back from uh, Sweden. Nut and bolt restored cars, uh, collector had them. We bought all three. My father fell in love with the cars and said, I want to have them. They're just beautiful to look at. And then here's a mighty Mopar. Remember I showed you the Dart with the 383 motor? Well, this is a rare 68 Barracuda Formula S with a 383 uh, engine under the hood of a, a little compact car, the big motor. And it's a sleeper, the, the subtle color, the poverty wheels. Looks like grandma's grocery getter, but it'll get a lot more than groceries. It has the bucket seats with the console, and this thing is restored like a new car. Beautiful. Not as many Mopars in here. I see at least one more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got so much great content that we're constantly posting. This is a sweetheart of a car. You can go to car shows with this and just enjoy it. It's a 73 Plymouth, they call it the Gold Duster. It's a special package with these wheels, with the stripe. But check this out. This is why I bought it. This is so vintage, cool, snakeskin top. And what I didn't tell you is this car has 20,000 actual miles. This is the original plastic on the seats. They took the bottom off the seats because it's probably ripped. Not the seat, but the covers. They even had bubble wrap over the visors and they even did the lower part of the door panels. This car is pre pristine original. I mean original, original paint, original rubber. Tires, battery, they've been replaced. But what a cool car and it's actually it's a 318 with air conditioning great car you can go to car shows with and it'd be unique 
And I believe that's it for Mopars in this building. Well, there's one more I'll show you on the way out, not for sale. Well, two more. How about the ice charger from Fast and Furious? And anyone who's ever watched any of the Fast and Furious movies, I'm sure we recognize this one right here. It's all movie magic. I hate to bust your bubble, but this is fake. This is attached to the hood. It opens with the hood. There's a Chevy 350 motor underneath the hood of that car. All right, let's go to showroom three. Bam, we walk into showroom three and hit with a 1972 Plum Crazy Purple Challenger Rally. I'm sorry to tell you that this one sold yesterday though. So uh, if you really want that car, we have one in yellow. There's another unique car, complete rotisserie restoration. It's the Cornet 500, but it has the 383 uh, HP motor with a four speed. They made 55 of them like this. Uh, guy didn't want the RT, probably wanted to save on a little insurance money, uh, make it a sleeper, but it's the Cornet 500, one of 55 with the 383 four speed. And this is rotisserie restored like new. Right next to it, we got a GTX. Now the GTX was the uh, elevated trim level over the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner was your basic car made to appeal uh, to the masses. Um, the GTX was a higher trim level. They all came with bucket seats and consoles, some wood grain on the dash and door panels. Not sure what else they all came with, but it, it was a higher trim level. Well, it's a really nice interior. Very neat and tidy. All of our cars, I'd like to say, are exceptionally clean. I personally buy every car you see here. I do have people all around the country hunting for me, but I make the final decision. Uh, talking about pristine, go to volocars.com, check this car out. You, you can lick the bottom. It is immaculate. This is a truly a nut and bolt restoration uh, to like Concourse specs. 67 GTX 440 motor. White with white interior, a little bit of red trim. Now, when I use the word concourse, that means it's restored to factory specs. Doesn't always mean the car is perfectly restored. It means it's restored to factory condition. Now, this uh, 71 Roadrunner is concourse, and I, I don't like to use the word perfect, but it's got to be really close. It is a complete rotisserie restoration, all redone. You see this right here on the hood? air grabber, when you start it, this actually lifts up. Now concourse, uh, meaning that it has the right hoses, clamps, tires. Yeah, and, and check this out. Let me hop in here real quick. This is an actual factory option this car came with. Uh, it's called a dictaphone. It's a cassette player, it says Chrysler right on it. For the businessman, you could be leaving yourself notes as you're driving. Uh, the factory option came with this car. It's on the original paperwork. Uh, very cool feature. I don't know if any other car had that. You do a concourse restoration, it's a lot more time consuming, more expensive, because you have to hunt down uh, certain parts. And then when you find the part you're looking for, you'll pay them whatever they're asking. <laughs> And here's a cool little Mopar just go have some fun with. It's a rotisserie restoration. It's not at that concourse level, but it's certainly a great car to go to car shows and be proud of. 1971 Dodge Dart rotisserie restored has a 360 motor in it, automatic trans, sassy grass green. Power steering, it has disc brakes. It certainly had some wild colors back then. 
Well, since we're in here talking about Mopars, can't get, we can't leave the building without giving a shout out to Christine, the 1958 Plymouth Fury. She'd get angry if we didn't say hello. All right, now let's go to the next showroom, see what we can find there. All right, we're in another showroom now. And here we have a 2083 Chrysler 3000. Uh, if this looks at all familiar, it's from the movie Total Recall. Pretty cool, we have the whole bottom half that drives and it's all hydraulics. The top you know, moves around like, it, like it's floating, flying through air in the movie. Um, a pretty cool setup when it's all together. We got so much cool stuff. We have warehouses filled with it. Here's a 64 Dodge Polara known as a gasser. It has the solid axle up front, which raises it, which you know distributes the weight better. Uh, these were set up to go down the quarter mile real fast. And uh, it'll do that. It has a 528 cubic inch Hemi making 660 horsepower. Only 1,500 miles on this show car, and it is drivable. Uh, the gentleman that drove it here, the owner of the car, an elderly guy, and uh, he drove it like over an hour to get here. Uh, right over here is a Plymouth Prowler. That would be a Mopar. This is 2,294 miles on a 99 Prowler. Red, big chrome wheels. Uh, if you're looking for a prowler, can't do any better than that right there. Oh boy, and look right behind us, right, right behind you. It's a 68 uh, GTX convertible. This is a 444 speed car. This is also very rare. Uh, it had a nice driver quality rotisserie restoration, factory red and white car. That's a rare, rare piece right here. GTX four-speed convertible. Probably uh, should at least mention the General Lees. This is supposed to be the most substantial of the General Lees. Uh, uh, this is one of the early ones. There's a whole story with this one. It's one of the original, authentic. That's the holy grail of General Lee's. I don't want to say too much more. I might give wrong information. And this one's a wheel stander. It has a big engine in the back. This is supposed to do wheelies. Also uh, an actual movie car. What else do we got? Well, I lied when I said that Plymouth Prowler, that's the best one you can find because here's the same exact car with only 300 miles on it. You thought 2,000 miles was low, how about 300 miles? They're shuffling some cars around right now. We sell a uh, thousand cars a year, so they're always being shuffled around. And I think that's it for Mopars. We've got warehouses with cars. Oh, I walked right past the Dodge Viper. Thanks for pointing that out. That's pretty wild when you have so many amazing cars, you walk right past the Red Dodge Viper and don't notice it. So it's an 01 GTS. This is the V10 with 456 horsepower, six speed manual, uh, a one owner, low mile car with 12,000 miles, red, polished wheels. That's a really nice car at a very fair price. That one's 89.9. So as I was saying, we still have warehouses with cars, cars up on lifts. Our shop facility always has about 50 cars that are being processed. We service our cars after we inspect them. Uh, so go to volocars.com, you'll always find about 200 in stock. And then we always have like 50 more in the works. Uh, so check back often. Thanks for watching.